Hi folks and welcome to this week's Ferrari guide at Summit Point and you don't want to see that you want to see the beautiful screenshot first um yeah really fun track this it's quite tight in the Ferrari to be brutally honest racing is going to be interesting uh long start finish straight so it'll be slipstreaming around there and then basically follow the leader I imagine uh probably some carnage let's be brutally honest this was a very hot track if we have a look here it's 118 Fahrenheit uh that is warm so particularly in this section uh, you know the later stage of the section it's got a lot of hairpins you're down into first gear the tires are going to be well the rear tires particularly are going to be absolutely absolutely screaming so please bear that in mind try and take it as easy as best you can without spinning out uh track usage 45 percent as i say that seems to be the norm for me at the moment and the time is i think i'm half an hour early from what the race session will actually be but uh middle of the day hottest time of the day still going to be near as damn it what we're looking for lap times uh this is my second session that i did and we finished off with a 109 180 so i think i could get in the 108 just but you know a couple of laps in the tires are just screaming and they're on fire the poor little rascals uh anyway in my discord which the link will be downstairs in the description it will be the o lap and b lap and the telemetry file so you can have a look uh through them and uh, race against me with a ghost car or put your telemetry over my telemetry or vice versa and see where my breaking points are compared to yours uh, otherwise i think that's all the waffling done for me let's crack on with the guide right then the summit point great little circuit as i've already mentioned really long start finish straight so be mindful of lap one particularly in the following uh, opening laps really uh, really easy to get a slipstream on you spot your braking zone it is just before the three cones and we're standing on the brakes all the way down into first gear you can nip a little bit left if you want nick a bit that service road to try and reduce the anger but watch the uh, exit here sorry it's really really bumpy so you can see me building the throttle nicely using the left hand side of the track minimize that steering angle to avoid any lateral movement in the rear end full power as soon as you can to accelerate up to the next corner turn three is a lovely corner when it goes right but it can go very easily wrong service road here on the right hand side just as it starts or just before you get to the ending you're breaking down to third try and not take too much curb i find it just knocks you wide and you see here i get a massive snap of oversteer just touching the dirty curb there a lot of people will go wide there so be very careful of that Coming into, where are we, turn four now. Again, lovely corner, big, big lift on entry. Cold tires, might need a dab of brakes. But basically, take that as far as you can, and then immediately as it's over, about now, you're standing on the brakes. Don't worry about where you are on the track. Just slow the car down as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Uh, use the repaved tarmac bit that you can see there as much as you can in first gear. I do nip under second just to minimize wheel spin. And then braking here again, just as so the road sort of straightens out a little bit first gear around here really clumsy corner this was for me missed the apex and everything but it does push me wide which helps me on turn seven and eight now so i do turn in a little bit early so probably turn a little bit later than i do nip a bit of curve not too bad but sacrifice this one sacrifice turn eight to maximize turn nine stay on the left hand side of the track and just turn it in lift just before apex just to get the car turning it's kind of cambered in there as well so you can get around nicely use all of the exit curve as much as you can good overtaking opportunity down here if you do get a bit of a run coming out of there and i suspect if you do nail that corner you will but obviously you've got a big start finish straight last corner most important it's kind of dirt patches there so just a couple of car lengths before there stand on the brakes third gear avoid the curb i miss it by a country mile i should be a little bit close to apex but you can use all of this exit here which is really handy get a good exit down here and you'll have a hell of a drive down for the next lap which hopefully you'll be able to defend for some people but basically that is lap over really short really sweet fast paced racing here and as we cross the line you can see we get it there a 109 point one eight zero which uh which ain't too bad considering the uh the hot temperatures we did uh, have there if it is that hot be very mindful there'll be a lot of people spinning out particularly under acceleration so just be mindful of tapping people up the rear end uh otherwise folks that is that done and dusted super super quick one and uh yeah the fast pace cockpit and chase cam are to follow and as i say have a link in the description below for my discord come in and pop and say hello